With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Two parallel lines L and M are intersected by a transversal P. Show that the quadrilateral formed by the bisectors of interior angles is a rectangle. So what is given in the question is that we have two parallel lines L and M and they are intersected by the transversal P. So we have to show that the bisectors formed of the interior angles. So we have interior angle PAC, angle QCA, SAC and RCA. So we have to prove that the bisector of these interior angles form a rectangle. So what a bisector does, it divides the angle into two equal parts. We know rectangle is a parallelogram with angles at 90 degree. So first we will prove that it is a parallelogram and then we will prove that it is a rectangle. So for line L parallel to M and P is transversal. So angle PAC will be equal to angle ACR. This angle will be equal to this angle because they are alternate interior angles. Now what are alternate interior angles of parallel lines are equal. This angle and this angle they are alternate interior angles. So if PAC is equal to ACR so half angle PAC will also be equal to half angle ACR. So we can conclude that half of this angle will be BAC and half of this angle will be DCA. So we can conclude that angle BAC is equal to angle ACD. This is our first equation. So for lines AB and CD let AC be transversal and this angle is equal to this angle. So they are alternate interior angles of line AB and CD. So we can conclude that AB is equal to CD because their alternate interior angles is equal. So for AB and CD with AC as transversal angle BAC is equal to angle ACD and are alternate interior angles. So therefore AB will be parallel to DC. So we just proved that line AB is parallel to line DC. Similarly for lines BC and AD I can say that angle BCA will be equal to angle DAC. So BC will be parallel to AD. So similarly for BC and AD with AC as transversal angle BCA will be equal to angle CAD. So therefore BC will be parallel to AD. So we have proved that BC is parallel to AD. So the opposite side of the quadrilateral is parallel. So we can conclude that ABCD is a parallelogram because opposite sides are parallel. Now to prove that it is a rectangle we have to prove that any one of its angle is 90 degree. So as we can see angle PAC and angle CAS form linear pair. So they will the sum of these will be 180 degree. So angle PAC plus angle CAS is equal to 180 degree because they form a linear pair. So dividing the whole equation by 2, so half angle PAC plus angle CAS is equal to half into 180 degree. So this will be half angle PAC plus half angle CAS is equal to 90 degree. 
Now half angle PAC is angle BAC and half angle CAS is angle CAD. This is equal to 90 degree. Now BAC plus CAD is equal to angle BAD and this is 90 degree. So we can conclude that ABCD is a parallelogram with one angle is equal to 90 degree. Hence, ABCD is a rectangle. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.